because of COVID-19, everything is different. Parents, families, teachers, everyone dealing with kids, but especially families, uh, we need a lot of patience, we need a lot of confidence, and we need a lot of grace. Everything is not going to be perfect at the beginning. Um, we're trying to navigate online learning. Many parents feel they've been pressed into service to become uh, sort of like homeschool teachers, right? Because the teacher is not there. They are certainly providing instruction, but it's in a different way. So that parent now has to step up to a different role, especially if you have younger kids to support that instruction. That's not what we do. So how do you do that? Teachers do their jobs very well. So how does a parent now step in and, and begin to support that? Uh, almost like a teacher assistant. So what do we need? We need confidence because we need to be able to let parents know you don't have to be perfect. Whatever it is that you're doing to help your child is helping your child. If you don't know the math, but you're making sure they have a quiet place to learn, that's great. If you don't understand physics, but you're making sure that your child has a schedule so they stay on task during the day, that's wonderful. If you're asking the right questions to your school to make sure that your child doesn't get overwhelmed, that's great. So let's give parents and families, uh, caregivers some confidence that we can do this and we can all do this together. Well, I think like every parent, when I sent my first child off to school, I volunteered because I thought that's the thing that parents are supposed to do, right? So I showed up uh, for teacher appreciation events and for the book fair, I joined the PTSA, I ended up being the PTSA president. And I thought, great, this is how I support my child in school. As I continued, I found out that there's a lot more substantive work that needs to be done. All of those things are great. But what I found, the more I talked to parents, parents really need more support and help and information on how to help their child. They are motivated, highly motivated. We're talking about all kinds of parents, uh, race, nationality, socioeconomic class, none of that matters. Parents wanna help their kids succeed, but they often just don't know how. And so that's why I was motivated uh, to remain as a parent leader, a parent volunteer, because I loved making that connection and giving parents what they needed to actually help their child succeed in school. I think about this story on days like this. It's a little overcast out here now. It was raining earlier. And several years ago, when I was the middle school PTSA president, I organized a run walk for breast cancer. I thought it would be fun. I worked, I partnered with a teacher uh, to get it done. And we woke up that Saturday morning and it was pouring rain. And it was the first time we'd ever done it. And I was so disappointed. I thought nobody's gonna show up for this thing. And more than a hundred people showed up and it was great. And one of the people who showed up was a mom who brought not only her middle schooler, but her two younger children. And turns out I talked to her for a bit. They didn't have a car and the buses didn't run on Saturday morning. And so she walked a mile from where they lived with her kids to get to this event. And I thought, why did you do that? I mean, it wasn't, you know, a big academic event or anything like that. And she said, if the school was doing something, I wanted my child to see that I was there to support and I wanted to support the school and my child. So think about it. If a parent is that motivated uh, to walk a mile in wet weather, overcast weather, uh, to be there for their child in an activity, think how much more motivated parents would be if they had good, accurate information to support their child academically. We know uh, they wanna do it. We know that the motivation is there. And what I really love about the work that I do with parents and what I really love about Learning Heroes is that we are giving families the tools to make that connection, that connection between families at home who wanna support the kid, teachers in the classroom who are working every day to support children and their success, and Learning Heroes and parent uh, groups, the PTA and others are working actively to make that connection between families in the classroom. It's great. Oh, <laughs> because my son will tell you if the parent doesn't have an accurate picture of what's going on in the classroom, mom will be getting on your case all the time and not really understanding what's happening. Um, it, it is really important that parents understand how their child is achieving. And that's more than just grades. Um, as Learning Heroes research has shown, most parents are relying on a report card to tell them 
how their child is doing, but a number or a letter doesn't give the whole story. If your child has progressed significantly, but still isn't quite where they need to be, that's something a parent needs to know. And a report card doesn't always tell you that. If your child is good at some things, not good at other things, that's something that a parent needs to know. One of the things that I love about Learning Heroes, one of the first things that I learned about uh, Learning Heroes is that uh, parents and teachers can communicate better. Uh, parents really need to be given the questions to ask. If you don't ask the right questions, you don't get the information that you need to help your child. So when you have a parent-teacher conference, if you simply say, how's my child doing? And the teacher says, your child is doing okay. Here's some assignments. He or she got an A or a C or a D or pulled it up to a B. That's basic information. But when you only get basic information, you can only give basic support to your child. So what parents really need is more accurate, regular, detailed information, because again, they're motivated to help their children. They just need to know how.